Welcome to the Litigant in Person Network. And for our returning members, welcome back. This video is just going to serve as a quick introduction to the LIP Network and our new platform. The first part of this presentation will include an overview of our strategy. And then the final part will go over some of the features available on our new platform. There will be other video guidance about using our new platform in later videos, so please check those out. What is the LIP Network? The LIP Network is a community of individuals, organizations, initiatives and projects that share a common goal of supporting vulnerable people access and utilize their legal rights. The role of the network is to build a community of those initiatives and support them to deliver change through increased communication, coordination, and collaboration. This is who we as a network represent. You can see that the bulk of our members, 36%, come from advice service representatives. These include generalist, specialist, and pro bono advice services. The next biggest cohort of our membership includes health and social care networks, homelessness organizations, women's services and refuge services, informal and formal services, supporting a wide range of vulnerable communities. We have nearly a thousand individual members registered with the LIP network and they represent over 630 organizations spread across the community. We like to know, see and understand where our members are helping people. We do this based on the service that they provide. About a third of our members are helping vulnerable people on a nationwide basis. And the rest of our members are segmented pretty representatively across the rest of England and Wales. We also have some representation in Scotland, Northern Ireland, and internationally as well. The next couple of slides will go over some of the reasons why the LIP Network was created and identify some of the issues the Access to Justice community is facing that the LIP Network is designed to help address. This document is available on the LIP Network website. We won't go into it in much further detail here, but if you have any questions, you can always ask a member of the team. Our goals are laid out over four categories based around community, coordination, collaboration, and change. Here you can see what activities we've identified that we will be undertaking in relation to those goals and the values which underpin all of our activities. We're gonna give a really brief overview of some of the platform features that the new LIP Network website provides to its members. First of all is our connecting features including a new membership directory feature, which allows you to search the rest of the membership for the contacts and expertise that might be useful and relevant to you, and connect with individuals and organizations and exchange information and intelligence via our chat messaging function. We also have a resource center, which is where materials, guidance, and best practice from across the community is shared in a central place. These resources can include anything from support materials with fundraising to materials to support well-being in the workplace. We have a range of categories supporting both individual member development and organizational resilience and sustainability. You can also use the LIP Network platform to ask for help and find support from other members of the community. 
our forums provide the opportunity to look at particular issues or opportunities on an in-depth basis with contributions from across the community highlighting particular expertise. Our Opportunities Board also lets you post any requests for or offers of help and support around particular issues. This is where you can post your vacancies or your training opportunities, but also any opportunities to contribute evidence or partake in partnership events and activities. The LIP Network platform also provides the ability to keep up to date with who is doing what in the Access to Justice community. We have a weekly bulletin that rounds up the best content from across the platform and sends it out to members on a weekly basis. You can also share and view the latest updates from the community via our news and blog section, which is used for sharing updates on services, developments, and progress on key initiatives, as well as providing you with the opportunity to voice your thoughts and opinions on key areas of development. As part of the introduction to our new platform, the LIP Network team is also providing a range of support to help members make the very best use of everything the new platform has to offer. We provide supported inductions at a variety of levels, ranging from including induction via introductory videos for those who feel able to log on and start sharing straight away right the way through to one-to-one -one inductions so that we can understand what your needs are and how we can signpost you to the right areas of the new platform to help support your work. We also provide particular support to our organization and network members, including providing an induction structure to help support them, their staff and any of their contacts interact and engage with the LIT Network platform in the most beneficial ways. The LIT Network team can also provide capacity to support and facilitate contributions from the community. While our platform is fully interactive and intuitive to new members, we recognize that not everyone will be able to contribute as much as they would like we have the capacity on hand to support members to share equally with the platform. That's it for our brief overview and introduction to the LIP Network. Please check out our other videos, getting started on the LIP Network platform and using the LIP Network to share your work for further guidance on how to use the platform and its facilities.